welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to clear all kind of cache and junk from your windows 11 to improve the performance for gaming and speed up any kind of pc and laptop of windows 11 so without any delay let's quickly get it started first we will start with the basic steps so what you have to do first right click on the windows icon click on run type here temp click on ok and here you will find a bunch of files so you have to press ctrl a from your keyboard to select them all then right click on it and choose delete so whichever items are not being able to delete it means they are running in the background so you can click on skip or cancel click on ok again right click on windows icon click on run now here you have to type percent temp percent again again click on ok again press ctrl a from your keyboard to select them all right click on it and choose delete whichever item again is not able to delete check the box click on skip and then you can close it next you need to bring up your file explorer now here on the top you will find the three dot click on it click on options now here in the general section at the very bottom you will find the privacy option and it says clear file explorer history so you have to click on clear then click on ok now from the left hand menu option click on this pc then click on local disk c and here you have to look for the windows folder double click on it then you have to look for the software distribution so keep scrolling down until you find software distribution once you get it double click on it then you will find the download option download folder double click on it and here again you have to delete all these files so from your keyboard press ctrl a to select all right click on it and choose delete once it's been done you can close it now next click on your windows search type disk click on disk cleanup select the drive that you want to clean click on ok this kind of box will be coming up now it will ask you that what all you want to clear like temporary file recycle bin and all kind of cache so in case if you don't want to clear your recycle bin then you can uncheck it but it's always recommended that you should clear the recycle bin as well okay so it's all up to you if you don't need a recycle bin check it check all the other options and then you have to click on ok click on delete file and the cleaning will now be started and once it's been done right click on windows icon click on settings now here from the left in menu option click on apps click on installed apps now here if you want to clear the cache and history of any kind of application inbuilt application of windows 11 like map so you have to scroll down and look for that particular application whichever it can be click on the three dot on the very right of it click on advanced option and here you will find the reset option and it says if this app still isn't working right reset it the app data will be deleted so click on reset click reset again the same you can do for other kind of application like windows security or whichever application which is not working properly now once you are done we will be also clearing the cache and history of the location so in the settings only from the left in menu option click on privacy and security then scroll down to app permission you will find the location option click on it and here scroll down and you will find the location history it says when device location is on your location is stored and available for a limited time on the device so you have to click on the clear button and once you get this check mark you can close it and now next we also need to clear the cache of the dns and the microsoft store that we will be performing through the command prompt so click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here first command to clear the dns cache will be ip config space forward slash plus dns hit the enter key and it says successfully flush the dns resolver cache now we will reset the microsoft store cache so for that you have to type ws reset 
dot exe again hit the enter key and it will automatically bring up the microsoft store after clearing the cache so even if you have any kind of problem with the microsoft store that problem will be also fixed and now next we also need to clear the cache and the temporary and junk file from the browser so we will be doing for both google chrome and microsoft edge so first bring up your google chrome browser click on the three dot at the right in top click on settings now here from the left in menu option click on privacy and security click clear browsing data now here it should be checked to basic you have to select to advanced time range select to all time keep password and autofill form data unchecked rest you can check all the other item that include your browsing data history cache and other kind of settings and then finally you have to click on clear data so once it's been done now you can come to microsoft edge in the edge also you have to click on the three dot at the right in top then click on settings then from the left in menu option click privacy search and services scroll down a bit you will find clear browsing data click choose what to clear select to all time now here again you can uncheck password and autofill form data rest you can check all the other options and then click on clear now so once it's been done we are also done with clearing the browser cache and data now next we also need to clear the cache of the gpu of the graphic card so if you're using the nvidia so right click on the windows icon click on run in the run you have to type percent local app data percent click on ok and here you have to look for the nvidia folder once you get it double click on it now here you will find the gl cache double click on it and here you may find different kind of folder so again you have to press ctrl a to select all then right click on it and choose delete and now you also need to clear the cache for the amd graphic card if you're using the amd for that bring up your amd software from the top menu option click on gaming then click on graphics then scroll down click on advanced again scroll down you will find reset shader cache click on perform reset and click on ok again once it's been done close it and now many of you might be also using the steam application for the game so if you are using a steam then bring up the steam application once the steam is up click on the steam icon at the very left in top then click on settings click on downloads and there you'll find clear download cache so click on clear cache click on confirm and the steam will be restarting now now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to manage the storage and clear the junk and other kind of unwanted file so right click on the windows icon click on settings click on system from the left in menu option then you have to look for the storage now this will list you all kind of categories occupying the space from your hard disk or ssd so it will let you know that what kind of space has been occupied on my end you can see the document is occupying around 147 gigabyte so you can click on it click on view document and look for the document here look for the folder here whichever you are not using anymore you don't identify you can go ahead and delete it so that it can create extra space on your drive and even it will be boosting the performance similarly you have to do the same with the other categories here then you have to click on the temporary file and here again you will be getting the download and the recycle bin option so if you don't need the item in the recycle bin in the download you can check those boxes keep other option checked here and then you have to click on remove file so once you are done with all this process finally you will have to restart your computer and you will find the great difference and you will enjoy the better performance for gaming and overall computer performance that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video